David, there are two words I'd like to say to you. Happy birthday. Well, thank you. This is a great way to spend your birthday, huh? It sure is. And uh, what was the age? What did you just turn? 65. No, you didn't. You look. You don't look a day over 30. <laughs> well, you don't see it from this side. <laughs> but if, uh, truth be told, that's what I feel. Somebody said, Hi, what do you feel like? I, I read where what was Satchel Paige said, uh, if you didn't know how old you were, how old do you think you were? And I, 30 would be a good age. No, that's a that's a great, a great thing. I was reading recently that uh, one of our great Supreme Court justices, who was really tough on the stand and actually threw lawyers out of his courtroom, he'd get home and he acted like a nine-year-old because he wanted to. So, with that in mind, yeah. um, we're here at something called the Love Ride. Have you ever done this event before? No, this is my first time. Well, looking around, what do you think so far? I think it's a heck of a way to spend your birthday. You've got this beautiful ruby red Sportster. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Well, it's an 09 Sportster. It's a 1200 and it is the vehicle to my rebirth. What does that mean? Well, you know, we all have our lives we have to lead and what, what happens to us. And, you know, I went through some stuff and I came out the other end, bought this bike, and it's been a joy ever since. This was last January I started my second life. So, you know, that that's I don't even know what to say about that. You're telling me that this motorcycle and the sport in general has given you rebirth. It's it's made you happy again after some real difficult times in your life. Is that what you're saying? That's that's very well put. Yeah. It's just, sometimes I lay in bed at night after a ride and I just think, you know, life is good. Life is really wonderful. You know, the other interesting thing is, okay, this is Southern California. I talked to a friend of mine in Ohio and they're they're wearing big, thick jackets. <laughs> I mean, come on. This is what is the weather like today? This is the weather. This is the this is the world for motorcycles. Oh, it is. It, I mean, it, it, you can't get any better than this. And all the different mountain roads we have, it's it, this is the place to be if you have a bike. You know, when you read the English magazines, uh, literally they've got a short season. I mean, if they push it into September, they're putting on heated gear and the whole thing. We literally can ride 365 days a year here. I met a guy here from Denmark, and he said there's about two months that they ride over there. And motorcycles over there are like twice the price. So Harley over there, you got to pay this huge tax on it. Yeah, and yeah, a couple months a year, and that's it. Take me around your sports, or I see some custom touches here. What'd you do to this bike? Well, when I first bought it, it was just stock. I put on the Mini Apes, which gives it a whole different attitude. I mean, I just love these hands. You find them a lot more comfortable? Much more. You just sit back and you and you got uh, the sissy bar, which I, I have uh, uh, a bag that goes over it when I try. I've taken this bike up to San Francisco a couple times on Highway 1. How does the ride going that far? Oh, fine, fine. It's, uh, it's a smaller bike. It's lighter. I mean, you get a lot more tired than you would on a heritage soft tail or one of those big road kings but like it's I'm looking, plenty. I'm looking at these bags did you put those on yeah I you put did. those both on yeah they match and, and I like in fact they told me oh you don't want to put that bag on the bag I said no it'll be and it worked out real nice no, I like keep it. a little bit of tools in it and you know. It kind of reminds me uh, of Then Came it. Bronson. You remember that movie? Uh, that show? Yeah, I absolutely do. With, yeah, with that, uh, I can't think of the actor's name right now, but uh, yeah, as a matter of fact, he's in a new movie right now. But yeah. And uh, what and kind I think of. That, this was the color of his bike. Not only was it the color, but it was a sportster. People don't re remember that. He no. was riding a sportster in that series. The only thing I remember is he had a saddlebag. Uh, I mean, a uh, uh, sleeping bag, a sleeping up, bag. Uh, up on, on top here. That's it, yeah. And every time a car would do something wrong on the road or they tried to cut him off, he'd ride up next to it and kick their door in. I mean, that's what all bikers do, isn't it? No, oh, I haven't done it yet. But, uh, <laughs> I, there's a couple times where I felt like it. <laughs> well, David, um, do you have any advice? Do you have any advice for other people that perhaps are, their birthday is going to 65 and they've had the stuff happen to them that's that happens to you at that age. What's your advice to them about kind of regrouping and taking a big shot at it again? 
Well, as far as advice, I, I, you know, I don't know. What I would say is most things work out in the end. You know, just keep going and you, you, you know, you get through the smoke and the debris and you come out the other side and, and it's all good. And you look back on it and you think, you know, if I didn't have all that stuff happen, I wouldn't have brought me to this point. Just keep going and things finally work their way out. Kind of like uh, one foot after the other? That's it. Hey, you're a very bright, um, reflective uh, gentleman and it's Thank been a you. pleasure talking to you. It's been a pleasure talking to you, Greg. I take care.